I look fucking cute. So I just decided to randomly vlog, words. I decided to randomly vlog today. Um, it's a Monday and I'm feeling pretty productive and like, uh, I don't know, like motivated, I guess today, inspired today. So yes, we are vlogging and this is not gonna be ASMR in any oh, shape or form because I have this little turd here and she's gonna be in my video pretty much all day because I'm a stay-at-home mom. I don't know how many times I have to tell you guys that, but this is just like what it is and you're just gonna have to deal with it. So yes, right now we're going to Starbucks and we're gonna get coffee and we're gonna get her a cake pop and then we're gonna come home and we're gonna clean my fucking house. Over the weekend, she just got destroyed. So uh, that's what we're doing. Can you say hi? Hi. Say hi video. Okay, we're going to get a cake pop. Get a cake pop. <laughs> and we're gonna also ignore my appearance, which I also say in every video. Like, don't you love me? Say that you do. Yeah, okay. Kinda. See you guys soon. Thank you for choosing Starbucks. How do we get started for you? Well, I'm gonna start out with a uh, birthday cake pop. Can I try your white chocolate macadamia cream cold brew in venti? Yeah, venti. And can I get almond milk in that? Almond milk. All right. And that should be everything. All right. Let's see if you're for ten seven. Thank you. Thank you. Looks like we're trying something new today. I've never had this cold brew before, so normally I'm like a Dunkin' girl, but Riley got me a gift card for Mother's Day, so we are gonna use that. All right, bag is secured. And they got like sugar and cookie crumbs and shit on top of this. I did not think it came with all that, but it's called a, a I'm not even gonna try to say it, but it's the macadamia cold cream brew, whatever the fuck it is. But I got it with almond milk, so we're gonna try it. This shit is kind of sweet, but it's really good. Usually I'll just get like a Americano, like an iced Americano from Starbucks and then I'll come home and I'll put my own cream in it because it saves money and it's also not as fattening, but you know, we're treating ourselves today. What baby? We're just chilling in the AC right now because uh, our rental company fucking sucks and we literally don't have AC working in our house right now and we live in Arizona so it's really just not a vibe so um it was really just like not a vibe so we are chilling in the AC just for a minute and I'm just gonna talk to you guys can you say hi Freya hi say what's up what's up say love you love you <laughs> she's so cute so yeah that's the first thing that I want to bitch about this rental company when we first moved in, had us without water, working water for like, well, I think like four or five days. They knew that there was a pipe that needed to be replaced and wasn't working. And they moved us in here knowing that. And so we didn't have working water for like four or five days when we first moved in here. So that's the first thing. Second thing, like whenever anything needs fixed, you can't even get a hold of these fuckers. There's no way to get a hold of them and there's no office or else I'd be up in there. Use me. Y'all need to be taking care of my shit and you're not. So there's that. And then also our pool was disgusting for like months. Like our pool was green and disgusting and nobody would come out and fix it for like months we didn't have a pool. I mean, it wasn't like nice enough to swim yet, but still like, you know, we're paying $150 extra a month for you to come and clean our pool. Come and clean our pool, please. Come and fix our pool. Thank you. And then not only that, um, so now we're at, we're without AC. It's like 80 degrees in our house right now. So that's just like not a vibe. Not the vibes that I want today, so. I got rear-ended last week. That's another thing I want to tell you guys. I got rear-ended last week. I was on the 101, getting off onto the exit and you know, traffic here especially on the freeway is crazy and az like they they give no fucks they really don't they don't care they just be driving it they don't care they'd be like this and like that they don't they just don't care i was getting off onto my exit and um traffic slowed down and the fucker behind me wasn't paying attention probably on his phone 
and rear-ended me. I had Freya in the car. Crazy story, um, Freya had just gotten a new car seat because the airport, when we went and visited Oregon, lost her damn car seat. So she had a little janky airport one for like a little bit. And so I, we had literally just left Walmart and got her her nice car seat. We got in an accident. Like, thank the Lord. Like, obviously, like, I'm not happy that we got in an accident, but I'm fucking happy that she was in that damn car seat because, like, that janky one was not, it was not happening. It was not working. So, yeah, the airport lost Freya's car seat. Don't ask me how that happens because I just don't know. And they haven't reimbursed us for it. They haven't even, like, given us any updates on it. They keep asking me and, like, email me. Blah, blah, blah words emailing me asking me like have you gotten your have you received your car seat i'm like bitch no i haven't received my car seat what do you mean have i received it that's just a mess my life's a mess like that's why my hair is always like this because my life's a mess all right says it's time to get out so let's go in the house oh i reversed my car into my garage for the first time just now what's I'm not good at doing shit like that, so. And I do have a backup camera, and I'm still not good at it, so. <laughs> I'm just gonna show y'all what Riley got me for Mother's Day. Nothing crazy, but it's so cute. So he got me these pretty roses, right? And I didn't have a vase, so I put it in this Budweiser mug. He got me these roses. Mom. And gift card which we already talked about he got me a gift card and he got me this pretty ass cup that i've been wanting and eyeballing literally since we moved here like almost a year ago it's just so pretty and it says arizona normally i would be at the gym by now you know working my little arse off but Mom had one too many twisted teas last night and I'm not feeling the greatest. So I'm just gonna go tonight when Riley goes to the gym. I'm just gonna go with him. Today, I'm gonna clean my house because it's disgusting and it's really, really bugging me. I didn't realize like how much OCD I actually have when it comes to things, like certain things in my house. Like it has to be this way or I'm just like not satisfied. Poured my coffee into here, and for some reason I can't get the lid on. No, oh, I, I feel like I'm just dumb today. Like, I don't know. Like, am I doing something wrong? I thought it just goes in there. But anyways, Riley just called me to tell me that he watched me on the ring camera back into the garage, and that he's proud of me. That's love. And then I had to tell him that I accidentally hit the box in the garage a little bit on our already damaged bumper. They're going to get replaced anyway, so... Okay, what did y'all do for Mother's Day? I want to know, were you spoiled? Did you do anything fun? Did you get drunk like I did? Riley took me out to brunch at this really cute place in downtown Gilbert called Snooze. We were drunk before we even got our food. A couple Bloody Marys. I got a, a strawberry mimosa martini. I got another mimosa. Got another mimosa. And then we came home and then we swam with the kids pretty much all damn day. We were just outside swimming because it was like over 100 degrees here. Um, and then we barbecued. He made me some dank, huge, fatty burgers because I'm a carnivore. Me and Riley swore up and down that we were going to watch The Last of Us because we we're supposed to finish it. And then we never, we were just too tired and we were in bed by like nine, literally nine o'clock. We were like <sighs> It was a great day, great Mother's Day, super laid back and chill, which is like what I wanted. But yeah, my kids are like fish and they just like, they can be in the water all freaking day. I'll insert some clips from uh, like snaps that I took from yesterday so you guys can see a little bit of what we did. Tomorrow is Brayden's birthday, my son, and he's gonna be 12 years old, which is like insane to me, cause like 12 years ago today, I was in like heavy ass labor with him. I'm just like, I can't believe it. I can't believe that I'm gonna have a 12 year old. What we're gonna do for him, um, we'll probably do something small for him tomorrow, just to kind of like celebrate, and then like 
celebrate celebrate like on the weekend when he can like have his friends come and stuff like that so lately i've been debating on like starting a family channel um because i know like i have my channel here where i do like a bunch of different shit but like a family channel where like i will vlog and like riley will vlog sometimes you'll just like see more of like what we do i don't know on the weekends or whatever and then riley can do some of his own shit on it maybe i think that could be fun so my kitchen's clean, my floors are mopped. The little one is still alive. <sighs> we doing good, all right, we're doing okay. So I'm just getting lunch started for me and Freya. She is gonna have some noodles, some top ramen, good old beef. And I think I'm gonna have a burger, but like without the bun. Just with like everything else, you know what I mean? Um, since I am for the most part like keto, um, it's kind of hard for me to find lunches and honestly, I just don't even eat lunch most of the time. I'll just eat dinner, which is like bad. I, so I'm trying to get out of that habit because I'm trying to, you know, get some gains and I can't do that if I'm not eating. So yeah, Riley made these fat burgers yesterday. So I'm gonna like pop it off with some stuff and just eat it with a fork probably. Uh, so yeah, I decided I'm also gonna cut up some cucumber. We love that. All right, this is our lunch. My burger, but not really a burger. Cucumber. I just put lemon and Valentina seasoning on there, and then she got her noodles. Yes, I'm eating at my doctor's table. Well, it's fine. I've decided this is where I'm gonna end my vlog. Um, I honestly just like ate too much food, <laughs> and um, I'm really full now and like tired. So I'm just gonna get me and Freya changed, and we're gonna go out and swim in the pool because it's super hot and it just sounds nice right now. Um, so we're just gonna enjoy the rest of our day. Thank you for being here and making it this far if you have. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video.